All right, let's get wrapping. Today we're going to wrap a 96 Polaris. Um, now, I've watched videos and read several posts. Um, so what I uh, ended up doing was I took all the plastic off. I had the decals on here. Uh, the decals were starting to peel off. This thing's 22 years old. I didn't want to wrap over that. It's, it would probably show through the wrap. Um, another thing I also did was uh, I took uh, 220 sandpaper and I kind of sanded all over the uh, um, the plastic uh, to get rid of the oxidation and road tar. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple things here. So what I did to make things easier was I removed the gas tank. Was, uh, when I wrap this, I don't want this in the way. Uh, also, I have a white wrap. So what I did was I painted all my edges um, white. Anything that might show. I removed my covers. Uh, just got everything out of the way to make it easy. Uh, I was in the middle of working on this thing, uh, so I had a couple other things going on. Um, so now I watched um, a couple videos on YouTube and they all say, you know, start with the fender, go up, and go across. Uh, most Hondas and uh, other ATVs, they've got a full hood. As you can see, I've got this compartment door that opens up. Um, so I'm going to try something different. Um, they all start from the hood, put a slit, wrap it around the handlebars. I'm going to try it the other direction. I'm going to start on the gas tank, make my cut, and split it this way. And I'm going to try to wrap this down and around in here and just lay this down. Uh, so the reason I sanded everything was I used to be a body man about 20 years ago. And they always talk about adhesion. Um, there's a primer stick that comes along with this, um, like for your edges. So I figured, well, just get rid of all the, uh, everything that's uh, 22 years of crap that's been on here. Um, hopefully it'll make it, it uh, adhere a little better. Uh, I also did take my fender flares off. Let me show you here. Because after I wrap it, if it were to come loose here, or break loose, this is going to hold it in place when I put it back on. Okay, so what you're going to need here is, I've watched a bunch of videos and some guy bought $100 worth of shit. All you need is a squeegee, your primer stick, a knife, a marker and of course your wrap and a heat gun and um, also keep in mind that uh, you want to think about the temperature outside it's December here in Wisconsin it's about 40 degrees out it's a little cool in the garage so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to throw some uh, heat on in the garage while I'm working and after I'm done because it's supposed to drop down to 32 during the week I'm actually going to remove the plastic, bring it back in the house. Because they say, I don't know, 24 to 36 hours, it should really cure and dry nicely in um, 65 and up degree temperatures to cure before you go out in cold weather. So, <clears throat> that's my plan. We'll see if it works. Alright, so first thing you want to do is... Uh, Wax and grease remover. Clean off the surface of your plastic. Clean it up really nice. It'll give a nice clean surface for the, the vinyl to stick to. I also went with the uh, the 3M Aircast. Uh, that way I can heat it up and it'll stretch over the tank. Uh, some of them uh, vinyl kits out there you have to like around the corners here make a cut lap it cut lap it this you just use a heat gun 
stretch it over the top. It should be good to go. Well, this will be step one. All right, step two, <laughs> I got my primer. I'm just gonna put it around edges where I want things to stick. Any little bubbles, you can just heat up. There, it's starting to look like something. And I can just trim this off. This is taking way longer than I thought, which is to be expected, but it's turning out pretty cool. I'll keep chugging away and I'll let you know how it goes. Alright, so I'm about two hours into it. I'm finding out that it's not as easy as it looks. I, mean, I did this, but uh, now this is my first time attempting this, so I'm just doing it little by little. And the more I do it, the more I'm learning. Uh, the stuff, uh, when you heat it up, it stretches. Um, tight corners like this, right here, you kind of got to heat up, stretch it. I had to put a relief cut in there because it started buckling. Folds over, actually you can't even really see it. <clears throat> so you heat it up, stretch it, just kind of work it down. Um, it does, it is a really good material at 3M Aircast. I'm, I'm liking it. Um, you know, being my first attempt, um, I probably could, you know, if I did this a couple more times, probably do a lot better job, but, um, it's turning out okay. So I'm going to keep working here and, uh, I'll videotape as I go. Well, I'm pretty nice. That's the part I want to turn out good. That's sort of the gonna see that. It's 
hooked into the fender flare. I just heat it up and I stretch it over. this up and I can move it with my fingers. And this little patch down here I'll cover up later on. The, the rack will hide that along with everything else, but there you go. Let me give you a little once over. I got about three and a half hours into this. I'll do my little trimming. So I kind of came up short down here, put in a little patch, that fender flare is going to cover that. But, uh, yeah, not too shabby. So if you ever wanted to try this, like I said, a couple things that I learned was um, while you're cutting your relief cuts, don't overcut. Um, when I did the other side, I cut around the shifter handle here and it actually came all the way back to here. So I had to put a little patch in here. You can't see it because of the lighting, but it's a little white patch in there covering up my mistake. Um, but actually, it doesn't look too bad. I got some trimming to do. I don't know. I like it. <clears throat> For my first try, I'm pretty happy with it. There are some uh, couple little wrinkles in there, but this is 22 year old machine. I'm just gonna be trail riding with it. It's not not a show car, <laughs> so I will do this again. Um, you know, the more and more I do it, the better I'll get at it. But if you uh, want to tackle this yourself, um, like I said, I would have at least another person with you you know give your buddy a couple of these and uh he'll be good to go i'll help you out all right thanks for watching